Madam Clerk, could you call the roll? Uh, we're going to, Madam Clerk, we're going to pull item DR1. DR1? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Madam Clerk, can we open the successor agency and the Housing Authority and the Finance Authority? Yes, a quorum is present. Item 1, CSA 1 and H1. Warrant registered. Move allow payments. Second. Madam Clerk. Council and agency members, Dodson. Aye. Padilla. Aye. Morales. Aye. Franklin. Aye. Mayor Chairman Butts. Aye. Item 2, CSA 2, H2, and F1. Approval of the minutes for Council February 24th, um, March 3rd, and March 5th, 2015. Successor Agency Housing and Finance for March 5th. Move approval. Second. Madam Clerk. Council and agency members, Dodson. Aye. Padilla. Aye. Morales. Aye. Franklin. Aye. Mayor Chairman Butts. Aye. Consent calendar items 3 through 7. So moved. Second. Madam Clerk. Council members, Dodson. Aye. Padilla. Aye. Morales. Aye. Franklin. Aye. Mayor Buds. Aye. DR2. Staff report recommending an amendment to the city's California Public Employee Retirement System contract. Motion away for the reading. Second. Madam Clerk. Council members, Dodson. Aye. Padilla. Aye. Morales. Aye. Franklin. Aye. Mayor Buds. Aye. I introduce the ordinance. Move three. Second. Madam Clerk. Council members, Dodson. Aye. Padilla. Aye. Morales. Aye. Franklin. Aye. Mayor Butts. Aye. SPH1. Staff report requesting that a public hearing be set to receive public input on an adoption of an ordinance authorizing Exxon Mobil Oil Corporation, formerly known as Mobil Oil Corporation, to operate and maintain and undergo pipeline M70 uh, for the transmission of hydrocarbon substance, uh, substances in the city of Inglewood for 20 years. Set the public hearing for April 14, 2015 at 7 p.m. A1. And, uh, Thank you, Mayor. As the CS1, there was a closed session regarding California River Watch versus the city of Inglewood. Discussion was held and direction given to staff. As to C A2, there's no oral reports from the city attorney's office. CM1. Yes, good afternoon, Mayor and City Council. I would just like to use this time to invite the public out on March, this Saturday, March 21st. The city will be co-hosting a drought-tolerant landscaping workshop um, in conjunction with the West Basin um, Municipal Water, Water District. Um, and the uh, workshop will be held at the fire department station number 171 on Regent Street. That concludes your report. Um, CC1, Madam City Clerk. No reports. Thank you, Mayor. CT1, Madam City Treasurer. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. I'd just like to report that I did attend the annual conference for the Government Investment Office Association that was held in Las Vegas. And it's based in Las Vegas, so that's uh, where, the, uh, where the conference was based. And it was held March the 11th through the 13th. It was just an excellent session, and we had over 75 uh, attendees from California att attending that, that particular conference. Over 75, we had a little, nearly about 500 people in total attending it. So it, it you know, gave me a chance to do a little bragging. And so I talked a little bit about the successes of our city and uh, some of the things that have happened. Talked about, you know, <clears throat> there was upon a time when we had like a 18.3 million dollar deficit and we were headed towards bankruptcy and now our reserve is better than 20 million dollars. Talked about the successful negotiation with our six unions. I talked about a form where we provided 18 million, this was not general fund dollars, and they gave us better than five to one. Wish we can find some more like that. Thank you. Pumped a hundred million dollars into that particular venue and the Eagles when they opened they said it is without a doubt the best venue they have ever performed in. I was there and I heard it. And it also is not just an excellent venue. Bragged a little bit about our Hollywood Park tomorrow. Two billion dollar project. I asked if any of the other 75 cities have any two billion dollar projects going on in their cities. There were no hands raised. So, you know, we got that going on here. Also talked about, um, you know, I asked, also asked the question, how did some of the cities deal with the uh, when the um, state did away with the redevelopment agents, how did they handle that, you know, and, and how many have clearances, no hands raised. Talked about we did get our clearance letter back in 
December of last year. And last not but least, I talked about our, looks to be very good, our possible 80,000 seat football stadium. There was a couple of people there from Texas that says we will have more bells and more whistles <laughs> than yours. And that's looking very good for the city. So a lot of positive things that was really going on and it was just an outstanding, outstanding conference, some excellent sessions and a lot to learn. And matter of fact, they're developing a, a government finance certification course that I will be taking also. It's gonna be the first time, so I will be enrolling in that. So it's an annual conference that's normally uh, held every single year. Also, I would like to mention that um, there's a local church, it's, it's held at the local church, Morningside Church at 8722 Crenshaw here in Inglewood, and they provide free legal uh, uh, advice to anyone, and from, it's from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. every other Saturday. And what you can do is call the, call the church and they will uh, let you know what Saturday they're, they're giving that. That number is 323. 7502790. And if you miss it, you know, call my office, I will give it to you again. But that's 323-750-2790. And that's Morningside Church. That's where it's held. A number of different organizations lease uh, property, uh, at least facilities from that particular church. Well, that concludes my comments and my remarks. Thank you, Madam City mm -hmm. Treasurer. Uh, CI1. Initiative by Mayor James T. Butts, Jr., recommending authorization to transmit a formal request to the chair of the South Bay City's Council of Governments that an automated transit network well, one, project. One thing, there was supposed to be added, I'm sorry, initiative by Mayor James T. Butts, Jr. and Councilman Ralph Franklin. I know it wasn't changed. On the new one. On the new one. Uh, back up. You, you want to add? To add and Councilman Ralph Franklin. Got you uh, take a vote on that. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh um, I move that addition. And I second. second. Madam Clerk. Council Members Dotson. Aye. Padilla. Aye. Morales. Aye. Franklin. Aye. Mayor Butts. <clears throat> Aye. And then the reading. Okay. <laughs> Initiative by Mayor James T. Butts and Councilman Ralph Franklin recommending authorization to transmit a formal request to the chair of South Bay City's Council of Government that an automated transit network project for the city of Inglewood be included in the South Bay Mobility Matrix a list of transit and highway projects as a candidate for inclusion in the Metro Long Range Transportation Plan updated in the Federal Transportation Administration Section 5309 smart, Small Smarts Finding Categories. I so move. Second. Madam Clerk. Council uh, Members Dotson. Aye. Padilla. Aye. Morales. Aye. Franklin. Aye. Mayor Buzz. Aye. CI2. Um, joint initiative by Mayor James T. Butts, Jr. and Council Member Eloy Morales, Jr. recommending adoption of a resolution ordering the City Manager to request that the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors order the Los, Angel the Los Angeles Regional Interoperable Communication System to halt cell phone tower installations at Los Angeles County Fire Stations in Inglewood. Adoption. Second. Madam Clerk. Council Members Dodson. Aye. Padilla. Aye. Morales. Aye. <coughs> Mayor Buds. Aye. Councilman Dodson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I have a few comments. Um, the first thing I want to say is I am as proud as I can possibly be of this mayor and this council. I serve with these men. When you're sitting at home watching your TV or sleeping at night, we're at work. I don't care what anybody comes up here and say. You got five guys up here that's working for this city. Whether you believe it or whether you can put your finger on it, we all work. We come to work, we do the work. We go to meetings at night when most of you are at home watching TV. But we don't just work in the day, we work at night too. With that being said, uh, this year Earth Day celebration will take place at Inglewood City Hall on April 18th. Put that on your calendars. Relay for Life, June 6th and 7th. 
please, if you live in District 1, I would like for you to join Team Dotson. Please contact my assistant, Ms. Alicia Smith, at 310-412-8602, or Patricia Patrick at District 1 ICOP Center at 310-330-5330. Uh, you can talk to either any one of them. I would appreciate it. We really want to try to raise some money for a very good cause. Uh, I, I, I'm going to stop there and say one other thing. Not only is this council working so much for this city, we have a great staff here. I talk to the staff. I work with the staff. Sure, we don't have as many people that we want to work, but we're getting there. From $18 million under to where we are now, come on now. You've got to know better than that. That didn't just happen. Somebody made it happen. And if it had not been for that somebody, we wouldn't be talking about this. We'd be trying to get out of bankruptcy. So with that, thank you so very much for coming out. We appreciate your input, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Councilman Padilla. Thanks, Mayor. <clears throat> you know, to me, it's just uh, interesting and amazing when you have folks get up here and, uh, uh, you know, are always so negative about the things that are happening, the positive things that are happening in this community. I wonder where they spend their time at. And uh, I, I can't help but feel sorry for them that everything is so so dismal and and you know the glass is always so half empty. Uh, that's unfortunate uh, for them. Uh, there's also a, a person comes up here every meeting, like clockwork, wants to talk about ROPS, wants to talk about successor agency, paying of the bills. Several times the mayor has gone into uh, almost like. Uh, trying to talk to a, a kindergartner about, uh, you know, the steps of how this is all done, and yet that same person comes up every week and wants to stand up there like he's the authority of how much the city uh, owes on different funds and won't listen to common sense because that doesn't make sense to him. But so be it. He's got to live with that. Let him come up here and make allegations about people, you know, being loaned money or, ha or having money from the mayor or something like I don't know what he's talking about. No idea about that. Then you have folks come up here and talk about things happening behind closed doors, impacting our freedom of speech, disrespecting the residents of the community. You know, that's the farthest thing from the truth. Uh, everybody gets an opportunity to come up here and talk their piece, say what they feel is important. Uh, we've always said that if you have uh, a concern that you can reach out to any one of your council members, the mayor's office, and we'll meet with you and talk to you. But you don't take advantage of that. You'd rather come up here and, you know, use the bully puppet to, uh, to sound like you know what you're doing and you don't. Uh, it's just amazing. A uh, gentleman came up here and said, you know, what's scary and went on. But what's scary is that these folks actually believe it. That's what's scary, that's what's unfortunate. Uh, we have a lot of good things going on in this community. Uh, we're gonna continue to move in a positive direction. We have strong leadership, as Council Member Dotson said, from the mayor, from my peers up here on the council, from city staff, uh, everybody that's doing their part to move this city forward. It's not easy. Like I say, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. It's not. It takes a lot of commitment, strong leadership, and it takes a partnership with the community. So when we do things, we're doing it as part of what the community needs are. Not we check our egos in at the door. We're trying to do what's best for the citizens and the residents here of Inglewood. Uh, so it's just unfortunate that we have to have the same folks come up here week after week and, and make these same derogatory comments. Uh, that being said, uh, when you go to the Earth Day event on April 18th, don't forget to stop by the Shred event over at uh, my ICOP Center uh, on, on that same day from 10 to 12. 
drop off your boxes of uh, papers that you need to get shredded, and then make your way over to the Earth Today event, and we'll see you there. With that, thank you so very much. Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day and the rest of the week. Councilman Franklin. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Uh, let me just follow up with the items that we just voted on earlier today. I think it's critical to understand how sensitive we are as City Council, where <clears throat> we immediately took great response when we were getting notified by the firefighters that the, our health as a city, residents may be in jeopardy regarding these high-powered cell towers that may be placed at our fire stations, 171, 173. Many of us residents receive this notification and what impact it may have. When you look at the council item CI2, you'll identify immediately that the mayor and my colleague to my immediate right, Councilman Morales, introduced a council in initiative which was collectively supported by all council for the welfare of our community. So these are the kind of things that we work on when we have sensitivity of issues involving our city and our residents. No different than a few weeks ago we had individuals claiming that the Turner Construction Company was not hiring local residents. And in fact, when I reached out to them since the, our last meetings, I learned that several dozen residents have recently been hired, but there's a process, particularly if you have limited skills. And I quote, it is not a traditional school that you enroll in. You must be accepted to the union by application and acquisition of a job. So people are getting the jobs, but there's a process. And I'm glad that the residents that have the desire and motivation are taking the initiative to finally get that and are now landing those permanent jobs and construction jobs that we have been reaching out to. And then finally, uh, those that are historical buffs, I was surprised I didn't see you at the recent um, documentary that was honoring Tom Bradley. On March 11th at 6 p.m. at Inglewood Main Library at the Gladysons Waddington, Waddingham Lecture Hall, there was a video about the impossible dream of Tom Bradley, identifying that 35 years before Barack Obama's election as president, the question of race and the possibility of bridging racial barriers were put to the test right here in the city of Los Angeles, but particularly because of the LA riots that occurred over the years. And here you take Tom Bradley, who identified that I believe in being a cohesive team player, was able to fuse in a predominantly white society to say that we all need to work together for the benefit of mankind. And to this day, we still honor him, no different than what you now see at the LA airport. And so for those that are really interested in, in progress, I ask for you to get on board with this council and let's move the city forward. Again, we're getting national recognition on a positive note, not a negative note. Everyone have a, a great day. Thank you. Councilman Morales. Thank you. Um, you know, as we start to improve our city constantly, I feel like, like we're starting to get uh, a little more spotlight and it gives that, that attention is something that, that gets a lot of criticism. Uh, the first thing we noticed when we get elected up here is that that, that comes with it. Uh, we expect not to agree uh, with everything. Um, some residents, they're just, they'll come up and they tell us how they disagree, and that's good. You know, every relationship in our lives, including our spouses, we will not always agree with. But it, you have to beware of a relationship where you never agree. That, that's, that's not a reasonable relationship. There's, there's a different agenda there. There's a different goal there. You know, uh, a relationship that's going to go somewhere, it balances. So we tend to focus on the ones that, that have balance, that have the opportunity uh, to hit our mark, because that's what's going to hit our goal. Um, Alex mentioned something. He said, you know, everybody's free to come to our office. All you got to do is call us. Uh, we're open. The problem is that's not the goal. That's not the goal of many of the speakers. It's something else. And whatever it is, I hope you get it. But the truth of the matter is, is that what's going on in the city of Inglewood is happening because of what's happening up here. You know, the leadership finally came together. You know, it, 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 I, nothing but our own history can prove that, that mere discussion 
was not the difference. Mm -hmm. It's everything else that has been going on, decision after decision, that we got criticized for along the way in every single decision, and that's exactly what got us to this point of success. We need to get used to that. Either way, the most important thing up here when we're making decisions is to know that there's going to be people disagreeing with us and maintaining the courage to make those decisions. Um, I admire all of these gentlemen because uh, I see how much they care. Uh, the mayor, he gets beat up every week, every week. Loves but I see, I see how much he does. I see how he goes to bat for our city when we're getting beat up by the big shots. Um, so it, it's important to note, you know, and every time that we get criticized, it's another opportunity to point at each other and say, hey, guys, good job. Our staff is awesome. Everybody here is awesome. Um, you know, we love our city. So uh, we'll take the criticism as we go. That's it, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll carry on on the topic. You know, we went from uh, being a city that was laughed at every week because of our council meetings. People were entertained by our council meetings. And that was the only thing they said about the city of Inglewood on a regular basis. That and the stereotypes that um, some of the media continued to try to promulgate. We have done a lot of things over the last couple of years. And right now, on a daily basis, we're, in, we're national news for positive things, for, for things that are on the horizon, things that we're working hard to make come true. And when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, the council comments and perception, you know, reality is not owned by any one person or group of people. Reality is what reality is. And because we're all people, we have different perceptions of what we think objective reality is and the way it's decided in a society that when enough people agree, that's pretty much the reality that we base our decisions on. When you have people that can't see anything that the overwhelming majority of the other people in society see, then you do have to let that go because you can't do anything to satisfy those people. So I, when I keep getting this thing about how uh, they're disrespected or, or marginalized, honestly, you do that to yourselves. I just have to be honest with you. There is a shared reality in this community, and it's not that we're failing, it's not that we're mistreating people, and it's, it's not that we're dishonest. If you just look at what's going on, we went from $11 million to over $30 million in the bank. I, I love listening to the city treasurer because I don't have to keep saying it. She just keeps chronicling our progress. She's been here for, is it 27 years? 28 years. Yeah. And we hope she's here for 32 or more. But anyway, that's when you can't hear that year in and year out. And, and the other thing that, that amuses me is that for four years I've been told, we're going to get you when you come up for re-election, or we're going to recall you. OK, so we come up through re-election, elected with 83% of the vote. And then I hear today I'm going to be recalled. That isn't just, that's just not objective reality, folks. People don't agree with you. Come on and get in here with the rest of us. Promote the city. Other people are seeing there's a lot of good in Inglewood, and we just invite you to come and join us because we're going places. We have, we've already gone places, and we're going further. So with that, look forward to seeing everybody next week. We're adjourned.